Hello my soccer universe. I decided I'll do this video standing up and try a slightly different perspective. We're talking of course about the best jerseys that I got this year as I do judge them. Um, on the background you see a few of the jerseys that didn't make the cut and I'm also wearing one, my first Slatan jersey. Actually there's one jersey you don't see because uh, you see here the Japan jersey. But you know, let's do it this way. Um, it was a really, really hard process. How many jerseys did I get this year? I'm almost a little bit ashamed to say it was a total of 80. Never did I buy it before uh, as many jerseys. And I have to say, I was last year, I think I got around 60, and I said I don't want to do 60 anymore. I seem to say this every year, and then it goes way out of hand. But I actually was doing quite well until the World Cup hit. And then I went into Wacko mode. And then I saw also a few really good deals and yes, that's, that's how it goes, I'm afraid to say. So yeah, what I did is um, I have selected uh, 10 jerseys that I think were the best jerseys that I got this year. Plus I selected 5 that just did not make the cut and then you see a few back here that also did not make the cut, uh, but I cannot show you all 80 of them for that. I have all my unpacking videos and you can definitely enjoy these if you choose to do so. I actually want to start this uh, with the honorable mentions for the simple reason that it I uh, have it all nicely arranged here on the rack so I can get the honorable mentions out, out of the way, pause the video and then have the other ones ready for you guys. And I want to do this in reverse order of date of issue or of age in a way. And the first one is one that I recently got, which is of course this uh, the France World Cup jersey with Giroud. I cannot tell you how much this France jersey uh, was growing on me. It, I'm pretty sure it will be also in my list for the top 10 jerseys for the year. Uh, probably not top spot because I cannot put another France jersey up, up, up top because it becomes a little bit of a theme with me. So let's see about that. Another jersey that was uh, mainly used this year is of course also recently this wonderful Zimbabwe shirt. I I absolutely love it. I'm very happy to own it. Did not make the cut. Now to show the quality. So those two um, personal fav favorites. To show you the quality of uh, shirts that are in the top 10. This one did not make the cut. The famous Lazio Eagle jersey. I mean this is one of the nicest jerseys that have been released over the past five years. Did not make the cut for me. Uh, and that's why I thought oh I'm actually kind of really... I don't, I don't want to say blessed, but you know, a lucky guy to have awesome friends helping me receive uh, jerseys. Uh, the last two, I think, uh, uh, Andy from Andy's Football Shirt helped me. Of course, the majority of jerseys where I received help was definitely Idris, but uh, you know, there's also Matt out there and others that alert me when there's jersey out there and kind of feed the frenzy that is my collection. Two more. The next one is one that Idris uh, helped me because I got it from his collection. He, he, he was selling it to me. The Centenary Real Madrid shirt, not in the top 10. That's crazy. This is one of the most classic Real Madrid shirts. I am so pleased to own it because now I have both Centenary jerseys. Uh, really, really happy with that one. And then the last one. This is one of the big steals that I found. <laughs> 20 euros for the 94, 995 Ajax home jersey. Yes. Not around the collar, not in the very best condition, but overall this is almost flawless. Uh, and I think this can be with a little bit of hand, 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 handiwork even stitched up. I cannot believe that I have this jersey. I really cannot, but it did not make the top 10. That's how crazy it is. So let's go into the top 10. And at number 10, I have a jersey that I have been looking to have for a long time, especially in this configuration. I had it as a fake, I sold the fake and then I was just waiting to that it pops around but here in Austria I barely have ever seen it for a reasonable price. I know a classic football shirts years ago you could get it for crazy price and then saw it. Maybe it's still that I paid still too much but when I saw it I needed I, I knew I needed to get it. It's the 2006 Italy home jersey with the three stars, the one that they won the World Cup in. Now Yes, I would love to have a name set, either Gattuso or Pirlo on it, 
but that I have this jersey definitely earns its spot in the top 10. I was so pleased with this one. I got this one early in the year as a fake replacement. Sometimes uh, there are jerseys on there. We're going to number nine. There are jerseys where you really uh, didn't know that you need them or you wanted to have them, but then it just falls into your lap. And there was one seller, uh, like around October, it was selling crazy jerseys for around 10 bucks. One of those was this PSG shirt. There was an England shirt and there was a United shirt that almost should have made it here as well, at least on the background. Um, but the one that really stood out for me, 10 euros, this Arsenal away jersey. And if you would have asked me which Arsenal uh, a third jersey, which Arsenal jersey as a third jersey I, I, I would like to have, I actually would not have picked one. I wouldn't have even thought, thought about it. I would have said may, may, maybe blue one until I saw this and I had this and I instantly knew this is a jersey that I really, really like. It's super good looking. It's absolutely crazy for the price. It's an absolute gorgeous jer uh, jersey and, and in addition, my wife also loves it. And there are a lot of jerseys that have had some gold detailing. This one, one of those. I am so pleased and I didn't even know that I need this jersey. For number eight is a jersey that also kind of fell into my lap. Uh, this was one that was I was kind of projecting during, during, during the AFCON where I need it. I always thought you know, for certain teams and especially countries that I've visited in Africa, those two countries, I would like to have two jerseys. And one of those is, of course, Tunisia. And I have a white jer uh, jersey where, uh, honestly, I think it's a basic version, but I'm not 100% sure about it. it. It's a rather weird looking jersey. But I always said I would also like to have a red Tunisia jersey. And I want to have, I would like to have the ideal one. I mean, this was before the World Cup jersey were, were released, but that looked really, really nice. I still think this is really hard to beat this one uh, from the 98 World Cup. This was actually the home jersey for the 98 World Cup. An absolute awesome 90s design. And also, I think it cost me 40 euros. So also a relatively cheap for the price. Yes, the um, cotton collar cotton collar is a slightly bit faded. And I have to look into how those um, you know slightly stained whites can be worked on. But it's an absolute classic and it's a beautiful, beautiful jersey with many nice details in there. Super pleased to own this one. So this one comes in at number eight. At number seven, this falls also a little bit in the category of um, these two, but I was longing for it way, way, way more. We are talking, of course, Netherlands in 2014. The away jersey. I always wanted to have a blue and orange Netherlands jersey and it was either this one or the one from the 98 World Cup or the one in 97, the first Nike away, blue Nike away jersey for the, ne the Netherlands. Um, all cool could have worked. What made this one is that A, this was worn in two famous matches for the Dutch at 2014 World Cup, the 5-1 pummeling of Spain plus the third place playoff. Uh, second, it has a very uh, cool design that's a bit remin reminiscent of the 1988 and most importantly, the gorgeous lion. And it's a jersey that I had the chance of buying back in 2014 and I didn't do it. And in the end, I decided on the home jersey, which is also really, really, really nice. And then I never saw it pop popping up, up again until Idris uh, showed show, show from a page where it was. And it, I'm super pleased with this one. Really, really great jersey in at number seven number six also it really had a helping hand remember the 2006 world cup final well we have the other one the other fake replacement i also thought i thought this jersey i will never get with a zidane if i fake replace it and especially not for the for other price was there uh it really you may correct me i think it was around 50. 2006 World Cup by the way. Of course, I think in France it is easier to get these jerseys. Uh, I have to say I am very, very pleased. Now, I full disclosure, this jersey could feature much, much higher in the list if it wasn't so much uh, early 2000s or mid 2000s with all the paneling where everything is uh, colored differently. Um, the look, while iconic, 
I think is not a classic look that you know will uh, stand the test of time however it's an iconic jersey and you can decide whether you want to call this the headbutt jersey or whether you want to call it the jersey versus Dunkley potentially's greatest game for France ever. In at number five is a jersey where a remake was released this year and where I had already toyed of getting this jersey a few times but it was always kind of expensive and then when I saw the remake I said okay I better get the original. The remake is not bad it looks a little bit more modern but the original it's the Stuttgart I think it's the 96, 99, 97, 98 Stuttgart um, uh, away jersey. How great does this look? The details on this one are just amazing with all the stuff that's in, in there. The design is classic. It is very much Stuttgart. Um, maybe the, the white band could have gone ar around the chest, but I really, really love this. Of course, the colors are very near and dear to me. It is more or less a different take on the Milan jersey, <laughs> if you ask me. And I really wonder how Milan could take this design and make something special, you know, have a white off center stripe to house the crest or something like like that this is an absolute banger i have to say this is a jersey i am very very much in love with in at number four i would not say that when stuttgart jersey i think i got for a good price but i wouldn't necessarily call the call this deal but in at number four is a jersey that yes i paid 30 for it but it came uh once i had uh, shared with my buddies that I got this shirt. I think Andy came back and said, well, this sells on classic football shirts for 260 pounds. And I was very proud of myself. It's an awesome jersey. It's this Sampdoria 98-99 away jersey. I love the design. The color is a little bit odd, but that I got it in long sleeves in near perfect condition uh is all already something but what really took it over the line for for me was that the numbers were housed in this uh sailor shape on the back uh it is one of those churches this was probably the steal of the year in 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 a way although i have to go back through it really really pleased to have this one uh my all the only downside is that Sampdoria at the moment is in such a bad shape that they will get relegated and they got also relegated in the season they're wearing this jersey but you know the 98-99 Serie A season of course is very near and dear to my heart as Milan won it in the centenary year so in that sense also a nice memento for for, for that one but I really wanted to have some Sampdoria away and this just fell into my lap and it was sitting there and I said okay better take it better take it before someone else gets it the top three are all grail shirts of mine that i got this year and it is so crazy that honestly after this year i have basically the achievable grail shirts that i wanted to get i more or less have achievable mean that i don't have to spend an arm on the on the leg and this is something that i still cannot really fathom we'll start in at number three I have loved this jersey so much. I think it was only worn twice at the 98 World Cup. But boy, is it a classic. The Argentina away jersey. To me, this is the classic Argentina away jersey. Now, truth be told, the colors are slightly faded. So paying 50 or 60 for, uh, for, 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 for it is probably the just price. So I don't think I over underpaid. I had to iron the crest out a little bit. I got it through Idris who found it for me, like so many shirts uh, that I got this year. Uh, but I was so, I'm so happy to own this one. And also, the, you know, it would have been nice brand new with new text, but it, that it isn't, that it isn't the perfect shape actually. Uh, oh, that's super, super perfect. It's in a really, really good shape. I have to, have to say there's barely any flaw to it, but actually it allows me to wear it. And it's what a gorgeous shirt is it. What a gorgeous shirt to wear, to be honest. True. The light blue collar might be a little bit much, you know. It has a few 90 stylings, but for me it's all about the underarms here with the Argentina flag hidden in the Adidas stripes. That is an awesome look. And then Argentina also won the World Cup, so there you go. It was kind of a little bit of a 
foreshadowing. That was the last national team jersey, jersey and as I said, this was a grail of mine and I would have liked, of course, number nine, but this took on it. But we have two left, both of them from my two favorite teams. Number two, also Idris found it. All of those that are coming now, Idris actually found for me. And it's just a testament to the resourcefulness that this guy has, because I probably would not have found some of these uh, as well. And uh, number two, Georgia is one. I could not believe that I find this jersey uh, in France because it is from Lusk, my team. And I'm very happy with my Lusk collection. However, there was always one jersey, and I know my brother has this one. There was always one jersey, this one from the 2006 or 7 season, the one that got promoted in, that I always wanted to have because I think this is one Umbro uh, had Lusk. This is their best effort. I especially love. These stripes is so much like a fan, uh, the fans' flags. It's this really gorgeously Lusk. I love the way the stripes are done, but then you have kind of the black shoulders. Um, yes, it cost around 50. It was on Vintage Football Area, and it is not perfect. If you look at the crest here, this is a little bit too rosy, and the Red Sock logo here uh, is also coming. This is an electronics conquer company. But what it is, as it was worn, with all these patches and then on top it has the player, the player, Ivica Savastic, who actually became player of the year in 2007 in Austria, playing half a year in the second season, in the second league. Uh, it is such an iconic shirt with the, the post best possible name set possible. Couldn't have asked for more. I really cannot believe that I own this jersey now and it went straight up to my wall here of, jer of, of, of jersey that I want to see on a daily basis. So with that, what could be number one? Well, if you have watched my videos, you probably can already guess. It's bar none the most expensive shirt in terms of layout, uh, money layout that, that I had in my collection. It may, may be the most valuable one in my collection, but I am not sure. It's the one that I treated myself once I got 1000 subscribers and Again, thanks to you that I'm allowed that I can, can, can do this. Thanks to you that I actually could treat myself uh, to, to, to this jersey. Thanks to Idris for spotting it way in advance. I think I had, I had uh, around 750 so, so subscribers. I said, okay, I got a plan for the thousand or, or already. And in, within a short period of time, he found that one. It was not cheap, it was even more than I wanted to pay for it, but I, together with my wife, we decided, okay, if you reach this milestone, you will well deserve it. It is the Milan Centenary shirt. I cannot tell you how long I wanted to have this shirt. And I kind of pretended that, you know, I have two shirts with thin pinstripes, I have a shirt with the badge, I don't need, no, I needed exactly this one. And I honestly, for me, Milan in a slightly thicker stripe is uh, the, my preferred look. However, this shirt, harking back to the uh, first shirt ever, to me, this, uh, I said it before, I will say it again, it's the gold standard of centenary jer jer jerseys. The one for Real Madrid was really, really close. This one, I think, is better. The only thing that I would have done more is if they could have released it in a sponsorless version. That was the only thing that could, could, that could have been done better. And yes, maybe at one point one could put a Maldini name set on the back here. Shevchenko, potentially. Where? Maldini. Should be Maldini, but it's in awesome condition. I have it every day. I watch it here on the wall. I will probably eventually get a mannequin that it becomes even more pro prominent in, in my office. But yeah, these two jerseys here, if you would have asked me what are my two jerseys of my two fav favorite teams that I really wanted to have, it's those two. I have those two. So if you like to say I'm grailed out, I have to think really, really hard of what are my holy grail jerseys now. At the moment, I'm very, very, very pleased with the collection that I have. Uh, there are only a few things that I can do. I We'll talk about that in probably the first video of the year where I think I will say what I'm going for in this year. 
what will be my New Year's resolution in terms of collection. But I am super, super pleased to have these. Any case, those were my top 10 plus 5 other jerseys that I got this year that I'm really, really pleased uh, with having finally in my collection. Uh, please let me know uh, how do you like the ranking that, that I made, would you have put a jersey further up or further down? Um, also, which what are the proudest jerseys that you got in your collection? I would like to know that too, probably even more than re-ranking the jerseys that I got. <laughs> would really like to know what are the jerseys that you were really proud of getting uh, in here. In any case, uh, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.